Hello and welcome to Let's Play Tasmania on the Sega Master System. I can't read this because it goes away too quickly, so I'll just tell you the basic gist of it. Um, Taz's dad tells him a story of a giant seabird that lays a big egg, and Taz gets all excited and goes off in search of it because he wants to make a big omelette out of it. Um, that's it. Um, there are five levels in total. Uh, th uh, this part will have the first three levels, and part two will have um, the fourth and fifth levels and completing the game. Um, this is a basic platformer. Um, it's pretty easy, but it's kind of fun as well. Um, the demo will start in a sec. Um, button 2 jumps and button 1 spins. That's, that's the only attack you have. Um, uh, there's a technique that you have to learn uh, spinning and jumping at the same time. Um, and that helps you get to higher platforms and things. Um, the chickens are health. Um, th the bombs, if you eat them, hurt you. Um, but you can spin them away. You can also spin away the chickens as well. Uh, you can also eat lives, but, uh, but if you spin them away they go. And the same with the invincible stars. So you have to know which things to spin away and which things to pick up. But, uh, but sometimes it, it's difficult to, uh, to jump to places without accidentally spinning away some things. So it's quite tricky. Uh, the later levels of the game have annoying um, bottomless pits in them and, and sometimes you don't know they're there until you fall in them. Uh, it's quite frustrating so you have to know where they are. Apart from that it's, it's uh, fairly easy. Anyway, I'll, I'll make a start to the game now. Right. Yeah, uh, that, uh, that scrolls too quickly, that, uh, that um, writing. I can't read it, even without trying to uh, read it out loud for the video. I just, you know, I have to pause the video to read it. Anyway, and the same with this as well. Here's stage one, the planes. So you just spin like that. Um, there's no time limit, which is nice. You can just hang around here forever. Um, uh, uh, the two gauges in the top left there, the top one is your life, uh, that's L, and the P is the power, so you can only spin for as long as there's red in that gauge, and if you jump while spinning you go a bit further, and you need that technique for later on to reach some tricky jumps. Um, okay. Okay, eat the chicken, and he likes that. Spin that thing away. Uh, that's a bottomless pit. If you fall down there, instant death. So go up here. Yeah, you have to spin those away. If you eat them, uh, they hurt. So eat the life, and then uh, then we get another life, which is nice. Invincibility star. Oh yeah, the, you can still eat the bombs while you're invincible, and it still does damage. That's it. Oh, you, you see, it does happen sometimes. You accidentally spin away the chickens. Oh, I, I nearly did it there as well. Right, um, something down here, I think. Yeah, there's a life. Get rid of that. That's it. That's into the first uh, first part of the first stage. Each one has three parts, um, two acts if you like, and then the boss. So this is the second act, if that's what you want to call it. There's a bomb down there, don't bother. Don't want that bomb either. You can spin them away if you want, but it's, it's quite tricky to do so without accidentally uh, falling in the spikes or eating it. Uh, and you don't get anything even if you do spin it away, so just leave them. Oh yeah, those things uh, shoot at you. Uh, anything up here? Oh yeah, there's a chicken, another chicken. You don't need them, you only need them if you need health, they don't give you points or anything. I think, anyway. And 
the exits just down here. It's better to get the life than uh, than try to get past that bomb and that enemy, although they're not too tricky, to be honest. Okay, here's the first boss. It's a ball that charges you. Just spin every time it goes past, and um, and that's it. It's, it's pretty easy. I think it only needs five hits here. Let's end of that. Almost as easy as the uh, as the first boss on Sonic Chaos, if, if you remember that one. I don't even understand how that thing's supposed to hurt you. Anyway, here's here's the jungle stage two. Again, I don't have enough time to read that, so if you, if you want to, you can pause the video and uh, and have a read of it. But yeah, it's not really that interesting. I would read it if I could, but I, I it, there isn't enough time. I did think about writing it down and sort of reading it, but I just thought, I'd, what's the point? Yeah, the way to get that is you have to you have to use the spin jump like that and then go over there. Oh, yeah, the invincible doesn't last very long. And um, that's quicksand. If you fall all the way to the bottom, you die. I think there's a chicken up here. Yeah. That's that. Um, most of the time losing a life will happen because you fall down a pit. Yeah, so health doesn't really matter unless you're on a boss. Okay, there's another life down one of these holes. I think it's this one. Yeah, that's right. So you have to know it's there, really. Can't stand those damn flowers. Ah, oh, whoops. It happens. That's it, and onto the uh, onto the second boss. He's a little boy with a bow and arrow. He's uh, fairly easy once you get used to him. Just make sure you jump over the arrows, and, and just keep getting him as you go past. You can get him cheekily like that, but uh, yeah, you risk being hit, which I which I just have been. That's it. Nice and cheeky. And uh, that gets him more quickly, but you can just be patient if you don't want to risk losing health. And on to stage three, the cavern, and there isn't enough time to read that, so if you want to read it, just pause it and, uh, and have a read. Right. Uh, the lava is instant death. Okay, let's go over over here first. There's a life up here, that's it. Keep to the top now, don't go on the bottom, you don't know if there's a lava pit there.
again keep to the top. And again I get the bomb. Okay, be careful of the fireballs. That. Okay, there's a chicken over here. And then just drop down here carefully. That's it. Oh. It's the third time that's happened. And the exit's just there. And on to Act 2. It's a new enemy, the Skeleton. Uh, this one's more or less straightforward as well. I think there's a bomb there, that's it. Wait for this thing. Okay, keep on the top platforms. Don't drop down if you know what's good for you. At the top, that's it. If you drop down, you only have to come back again. And there might be some uh, chicken down there or something, maybe, I don't know, but I can't remember. If there is, you can get it if you want, but it really is no point because there's one there. Okay, big jump. That's it. I think there's a secret here inside this this place. There's a secret wall, or a secret passage rather. Two chickens and a one-up and a bomb, if you, if you count that. We have to get rid of it. There's nothing on the top left. Okay, here you can either go um, forward and you risk dropping down and having to go all the way back and dropping in lava, or you can just carefully drop down like that. Easy. Um, the fireballs give you a clue. That's it. Just If you drop down here, you'll have to come all the way back, so don't. Just uh, um, go to the exit, which is there. Okay, now for the third boss. I think these are characters from the cartoon. I think they're called Ball and Axel or something. I can't remember. I haven't seen a cartoon in ages. Okay, you just fight the shorter one. Just avoid the boomerangs. Um, and then when he jumps on there, um, get him. That's it. And again. And then just rinse and repeat. That's it. Nice and easy. Yeah, sometimes he does that, which means you can only get him once. No, whoops. No, he's done it again. You can jump over both at once. He needs a fair few hits, I'll give him that. And again, no, he's still not dead. And then, and then the taller one comes and takes him away when when you finish with him. There we go. I think the bigger one's called Axel, I think, and the shorter one's called Ball. Okay. Stage four, the ruins. Pause it there because that's the end of part one. In part two, I'll be doing stage four, the ruins, and stage five in completing the game. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you see part two in which I complete the game. Thank you th uh, thanks again, and bye bye.